Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Baby Assassin's Everyday Review episode 11, the uh, greatest episode so far. Uh, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it uh, brings everything beautifully together, makes the whole um, character development even clearer. It does a lot that I speculated on about uh, in the last uh, review, and it's wonderful, it's really, really wonderful, it's really, really great. Um, yeah, Mr. Hino is suddenly the best character in the show. I'm very sorry for all fans of the two girls, but Mr. Hino. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. So, so um, what's going on in this episode? Uh, Mr. Hino gets killed by Mahiro. They have a beautiful conversation about retiring and not killing anymore. And then she pulls the gun and kills him. And that's it with Mr. Hino, but he's still the greatest character in the show. Um, after that, we switch to uh, Chisato. And we remember last episode, she had this um, little problem that her department was about to kill the friendly guy from the Chinese restaurant because... Uh, yeah, she ate there instead of working, and uh, yeah, that's why she probably needs some punishment. And yeah, that's uh, still on the menu, and they are thinking about some creative killing method, and uh, there's a little hint that uh, it might all have been their fault that the two brothers in movie two uh, actually got in on this weird mission and uh, which ended their lives. Uh, so that's really interesting because uh, someone on Twitter mentions that uh, the reason Chisato felt bad in the last episode and therefore left work was because of a shot one wound in her belly and uh, that seemingly was in movie number two. I didn't remember that so well. So uh, yeah, it, it beautifully ties in this second movie and I think it's great how when I watched the second movie, I felt like the two brothers, yeah, they get a little bit um, treated not very... Uh, they, they don't get treated very nicely, especially in the end when they just get... And uh, so I always felt a little bit sorry for them, but the amount of uh, respect and attention they got in the third movie and now in the show is really nice and I like that and it's... Uh, wonderful and it makes Chisato freak out and then we get a, a great scene. It would be even greater if Mr. Uh, uh, what's his name? Sakamoto um, would know how to use colors. Um, my general problem. But uh, we've got basically the big um, love confession from Mahito to Chisato which is basically, hey, I'm alive to kill the people who you hate. And it's a really nice, wonderful scene. And then half the episode, we just get people uh, getting murdered very brutally. And uh, that's very nice. We have finally a big fight scene, which is not exactly on the same level as maybe Nice Days, but it's still very uh, good and very creative. And then we get a, a nice, slightly horror-esque uh, shooting scene where many, many people get uh, ended. And then we have another shootout with a little bit more action. So, uh, nice variety. Um, Chisato gets one on the eye and gets this eye patch, with, which looks really cool. And... Uh, yeah, it's all, all glorious and wonderful. And now the big spoiler. Of course, Mr. Hino didn't die. Uh, she said, uh, Mahiro chose to not kill him and basically just uh, put him to sleep and put him in a nice garden with a note on his forehead that he should enjoy his life uh, working at a burger shop, which was his plan after retiring. And... Um, yeah, he just showed up there and was like, oh, what's going on here? Uh, let's pretend that I did this to take revenge and you guys just walk away. And this, this whole scene, how he acts that when he comes in there and uh, Chisato doesn't know who that is and wants to kill him. Um, he's, he's just acting like a like a manga character. It's, it's so gorgeous. It's so funny. Uh, overall, his whole acting, usually he just does strange stuff with his mouth. He has his big mouth, uh, was 
Tokyo Emoto is it and he he does really weird, weird things with his face and that's gorgeous and now he does weird stuff with his butt and it's even more gorgeous um yeah if you don't love that butt uh you probably don't have any feelings left but uh yeah it's, it's just just gorgeous and one of the big takeaways here is that um Mahiro did a really, really big character development. Not just that she felt like she doesn't just want to say yes whenever someone says kill. Um, now she's more like, oh, no, I don't, I don't want to uh, finish him off. He's nice. And yeah, because he's so nice, she can just talk to him very casually and normally. So she almost became a normal person. So um, we finally have what didn't work out in the second movie, where they just say, hey, uh, we can actually be nice friends. Um, not that he's going to be around much longer, seemingly, probably. I, I would love to keep him around. I would love to see him maybe in the next movie or something. Um but, uh, yeah, whatever happens to him, he sees the greatest character in this uh, show. And it's just wonderful whatever he does. And um, next uh, episode, we will get Atsuko Maeda uh, back. You might remember her from uh, Baby Since Nice Days, one of the main characters there. And she already showed up um, at the end of the first story arc. Now she's back for the end of the second story arc. Um, I don't know, maybe hunting Mr. Hino. I hope not, because he is lovely and he should just get away with everything. Um, yeah, but that's really nice how they, they tie everything together and what kind of development the characters make. And uh, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. So now some people online are speculating, like, what does it mean for the future of the whole, like, franchise? No, like, are there gonna be more movies? Are there gonna be, uh, I don't know, maybe more seasons? Like the, the directors who worked on this, um, at least, uh, the other two, would probably like to work on season two and uh yeah so at least w one of them wrote something like that online and uh, i said yeah please do it and he was yeah yeah i want to <laughs> um yeah anyway um now so some people are worried like if they go against the whole agency can this franchise continue but i i don't think that they will um and everything in a way where they can't continue at all anymore so i don't know maybe um some bad acts get uh, sorted out and they somehow um force some change in the agency or something they will somehow get around um having to end everything with the show uh, I, I guess it's too popular now to just say oh no no we will never continue this um, I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe want to take a break to do some other stuff, but I would guess they will uh, try to capitalize on the success. Like, uh, you next is going to publish uh, a, a comic uh, around this series um, next year, uh, following the story of the show, but adding some extra episodes written by Sakamoto. And... Um, all these things. So I, I would be surprised if they just go like, ah, nah, it's over now. Would, wouldn't, wouldn't make any sense. And if the two other darkers are all like, yeah, I, 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 season two would be nice. I, I guess, um, there's not gonna be a big problem with continue, continuity or the option to continue the show. So that's gonna be safe. And, uh, yeah, but this is the way that it played out. Like, I already had this idea. I, I hope I said it last episode, um, that Mahito might not want to, um, do her job and, uh, get away from this or let him get away from this. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens. So I, I like this twist that the main villain of this story arc is not him, even though it looked like that. Um, but more this uh, evil 
department who are really, really nasty, disgusting people. Um, but on top of that, um, just after the boss finally got his nastiest uh, moment around, um, we got a nice little scene with him and his daughter that shows like he's not that evil in general. Not not everything he does is evil. Um, yeah, so so he, he they, they, they did quite well with keeping a balance here. So yeah, it, I'm really surprised. Like the first half was great, but this is so much better, so much more fun, so much more interesting. Um, it's really, really good and really, really great. I mean, in a retrospective, it makes sense how they structured the first, that they have this guy who's always with them and basically just goes crazy at the end and they have to uh, stop him uh, because yeah, he just uh, murders everyone. But um, yeah, that is really interesting that they don't... Uh, that they use this to set up the character change like we don't always want to do this i mean in this case it made sense because he killed a lot of other people that were working with them and uh that's not very nice but um yeah so uh yeah it's, it's really really interesting how they structured the whole thing i first felt like it's more like watching two movies but there are so many nice connections and the character build-up uh, throughout the show that it's uh, more coherent than I thought. And that's really good. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about how this turned out. And I'm really excited to see the final episode next week. And it's going to be super, super good and nice and... Uh, not more every day, but uh, that's how it goes. Uh, 12 episodes, pretty short, pretty nice, pretty great. Uh, let's see, let's hope that the final uh, episode can be even better than this one. I have no idea what to make of this um, preview at the end of episode 11. Let's just see what's coming. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you in a week or in a different video in between. And uh, yeah, have a lovely time. Until then, see you. Bye.